Hey guys, I want to tell you a little bit something about pest control. So when you buy property as a homeowner or as an investor, and if you have rodents or rats, that can become a big problem. So uh, I had a big shed in the back here that uh, is no longer there. Uh, that had uh, the majority of the problem underneath it, and I'll show you guys a clip of my frustrations. So there's one. There's two. Got traps. They're underneath this fucking shed that these people left. Look at this mess. It's like shit everywhere. So you got to get rid of these guys because they get into your property and they start eating stuff. Um, and going through the insulation, they get into the attic. Uh, I have some places right now that they're uh, eating through the wiring, so that's a fire hazard. So uh, set out some traps. I got some traps in the back there. Kind of see here. Uh, and just smash them, just get rid of them, right? If you don't want to pay a pest control, you could do it yourself, right? Um, but you can get uh, those traps from Canadian Tire. For those American viewers, Canadian Tire is like Walmart, but we don't, they don't sell like groceries and clothes and stuff. But uh, you eat all you need, set them out, um, get rid of them because they'll, they'll cost you money. And other than uh, costing you money, they make a mess. Look at this, see, see all the shit underneath there? That's, uh, that's plastic bags, fucking socks. Uh, newspaper like years of it just underneath this shed here uh, and you could find that they could be under a deck um, or any other place where they could hide and stuff so other than uh, being a mess uh, being a pest uh, they carry like viruses and diseases and stuff like that um, like generally unclean animals and uh, yeah they make a mess so it can be a bit of a headache but um, if you know how to get rid of them don't be worried about it so I'll show you guys where they were getting in so this uh, in the lower lower part of the house there there was a laundry vent and that's the exhaust and that exhaust was open for maybe a month or so before I bought this property um, so they were getting in in and out and I put I, so we closed on this property in the winter time so it was open it was probably nice and warm they figured out how to get in there uh, I was it wasn't ready to, to hack, tackle that problem yet so I was just jamming like frozen water bottles and stuff through they would eat right through it um, I put other things in there um, they would eat right through it so what I did to temporarily uh, get rid of the problem was uh, I figured out they were getting in there. Uh, I was able to scare some out, leaving them out and, you know, jamming the other area where they were getting in so they'd be blocked. So they eventually would get out. You, I would hear them when I was doing renovations. So when I when I wouldn't hear anything, I would put uh, this cover back on, a temporary cover. But what I actually put was these... Uh, these rat trap, these little mice traps, these warfare traps, I squeeze them in there. So if there was anything that was in there, uh, they would have to eat the warfare through the, uh, through the poison, um, either in or out, so they'd be dead. Um, and we did find some, <laughs> some interesting uh, uh, discoveries downstairs. So yeah, so once they were all out, we covered this back up. We knew where they were coming from, uh, so we're right there eliminating the problem. Okay, folks, so we're inside the property now. I'm gonna show you what happens when the rodents and rodents get into your electrical. See that right there? If you don't get rid of your rodent problem, they eat through uh, the electrical, uh, and that's a fire hazard there. And here in this particular property, they were just kind of running through uh, where the joists are. I'm not too sure exactly how they got through. Here's one last thing I want to show you guys. See, they get, they get all into all little things. This guy's dead. He's stuck in between the vents there, so we'll have to get rid of him too. So there you have it. That's what a rat infested property looks like. Hopefully it didn't gross you out too much. If you did find a little bit of entertainment in that, please hit the like button below. Don't forget to subscribe to follow me along my real estate journey. I love going into crazy properties just like this one. And I will see you folks in the next video. Money, 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 money.